Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Erica Thomas. Ohio Governor John Kasich had ideas at last night's State of the State address on how to fight the heroin epidemic. Today I talked with a woman who deals with drug addicts about the governor's plan. Her reaction is our top story at 10. During his State of the State speech last night in Marietta, Governor John Kasich spent significant time talking about the heroin epidemic. Oh yes, I've met mothers and fathers who get up every day wonder at whether it's going to all come tumbling down. One part of his plan to fight drug addiction has to do with how painkillers are prescribed. We need to limit dispensing of painkiller prescriptions to 90 days and invalidate any prescription that hasn't been brought to the pharmacy within 30 days of issue. Are you for that as well? Oh, I am, yes. Courtney Girardi is program director at Austin Town's Breaking Point Recovery Center, where a detox facility opened in September and an inpatient recovery area will open next week. While Girardi was pleased with the governor's prescription plan, she said it could be even tougher, suggesting pain-killing prescriptions not be filled after 7 to 10 days. Most of the people that we see here at our facility, that's where it started. They started using prescription drugs and it was hard for them to find after they got cut off from their doctor or whatever the case may be. Um, and then they turned to heroin. Governor Kasich also reminded everyone about a state program called Start Talking. Conversations with kids about the dangers of drugs, says Kasich, could reduce the likelihood of starting kids down a path to drug addiction by 50%. Courtney Girardi agrees with that part of the governor's plan, too. The kids aren't getting the education they need behind what their life will turn out like if they use drugs. Well, John Case excited two other statistics last night. He said the number of prescriptions for pain medication has dropped 12 percent in four years, and doctor shopping has dropped 70 percent in five years. So